Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the following algebraic equations. In the first example, I have 7x plus 9 equals 23. I'm going to start with a plus 9 by adding the additive inverse of plus 9. That will be minus 9. And whatever you do on your left, you do on your right. So to take out plus 9, I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides. And what I have will be, I still have my 7x. Then I have plus 9 minus 9, that's 0. So I'm not going to write anything there. Equals, on the right-hand side, 23 minus 9, that's 14. And then I have between 7 and x, that's multiplication. And to get rid of my 7, I'm going to divide both sides by 7. So on my left hand side, I divide by 7. On my right hand side, I divide by 7. 7 divided by 7, that's 1. So I'm left with my x equals, on my right hand side, 14 divided by 7, that's 2. So the value of x in this equation is 2. In the second example, I have 5x plus 7 equals 42. Using additive inverse, I need to take out my plus 7, and the additive, additive inverse will be minus 7. So taking out 7 from both sides, always remember that when you're solving algebraic equations, whatever you do on your left, you do on your right. So if I take out 7 from both sides, I'm still left with my 5x, and then I know that 7 minus 7 is 0, so I leave the space empty equals, if I go to the right hand side, 42 minus 7 is 35. And then between 5 and x, we have multiplication, the inverse is division, so therefore I'm going to divide both sides by 5. I have 5 divided by 5 on my left hand side, that's 1, so I'm left with x equals 35 divided by 5, that's 7. In the last example, I have 4x plus 3 equals 51. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concept. Doing the same thing, I'm going to take out my 3, and because I have plus 3, the additive inverse is minus 3. Whatever you do on your left, you do on your Right, so I'm going to take out 3 from both sides. What I have left is, I have my 4x, 3 minus 3, that's 0, so that's off. On my right hand side, I have 51 minus 3, that's 48. And then the next step is to divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 4. So on my left hand side, I divide by 4. On my right hand side, I divide by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1, so I'm left with x equals 48 divided by 4, that's 12. So the value of x for this equation is 12. Thanks for watching. Bye.